It's time for a reality check. Using AI chatbots to write people first articles is painful. It's not collaborative. It makes it hard to optimize your content. And let's be honest, it has no idea about our audience or our brand. But I think there's a better way. So let me introduce you to the magic of the reword co-writer. This isn't a generic AI tool. The co-writer I'm about to use is trained on the articles that I've uploaded to reword. It understands the topics we normally write about. It's trained on our voice and tone and understands how we like to structure our articles. It's built an understanding of our readers so that it knows who it's writing for. And let's kick this article off with an introduction. Now, there's a few different ways to launch the co-writer. The first is by using the button, which we can see right here. The second is by using slash commands. If we hit slash, we get the menu open and we can use this to change formatting and also deploy the co-writer. My personal favorite is just by hitting the tab key. It's so frictionless and easy to use and really plays into the collaborative aspects that we built the reword co-writer for. We've got a bunch of quick prompts here we can use and also recent prompts that we've used. So it's very familiar with the kind of prompting angle but it's a lot more collaborative. Let me show you. Let's say write an introduction that includes a quote and a statistic. And let's let the co-writer fire off and we can see already it's starting to write about this. Now this topic is about boosting productivity in your home office. And so we can expect it to play into a lot of the scientific attributes. Of course, that's something that your research assistant is also brilliant for, but that's for another video. Straight away, it's listened to us. It's created a quote from James Clear. Saying, you do not rise to the level of your goals. You fall to the level of your systems, which is a great quote. And of course, very relevant to home productivity and the systems that you set up for yourself. It's also dropped in a link for us. It's given us a citation. The global workplace analytics study that says that 77% of workers say they're more productive when working from home. Remember, if you click on the statistics research assistant, you'll also find more statistics with citations that you can drop in. So now we've got our introduction. Let's go ahead and drop in a new title. We use the research assistant just for this so that we can get going quickly. Let's get the best practices. I like the idea of this. In this example, I don't want to give too much direction. So I'm just going to hit tab and press enter to continue writing the article. Here we go. It's using its context and its awareness of where it is in the article to continue writing. Now, what it's doing here is writing an awful lot of content. I actually want this to be more of a listable format. What I'm actually going to do copy all of this section and I'm going to hit tab again. The difference here is that it's in edit mode instead of write mode. We can see the quick prompts have changed to rephrase in my voice, simplify the language, fix spelling and grammar, insert a link placement and continue writing this section. What I'm going to say is convert this into a series of bullet points. Now it's going to write a little introduction for me. And it's going to start compiling these bullet points. And just like that, it's created a list of bullet points based on the content that it already had. How much has that made our life to edit our content and make sure it's the best possible format for our readers. Now I want to show you a bit more of the lengths that your co-writer can go to in terms of these content formats. Let's create a new section. Let's create a new heading here. Let's call it comparing the tips and tricks in a table. Not the best heading. I'm going to actually use this preset quick prompt of insert a relevant table of data. Let's let the co-writer go and find this data for us and create a compelling table for our readers. How amazing is that? It's created a formatted table for us and embedded it in the content. Now let's go back and grab this title. Let's say make this title more engaging. It made this title way more engaging and it's actually going to get our readers excited. And let me show you one more thing about how you can manage your co-writer from the editor. Click on the co-writer navigation menu. And here you'll have a few options. Firstly, you can switch between your trained voices. 
these are trained on your existing content and you can manually upload any PDFs or articles that you wish to replicate in your writing style. In addition, you can switch between languages. We have over 25 languages currently supported and we are always adding more. And then you can also change your preferences. Because Reword is trained on your other articles, it makes it easy for it to create organic internal links for you. Sometimes you might want a little bit more control over this so you can turn it off here. Now I'm sure you're excited to jump into the Reword editor yourself and try it out. Remember, Reword is all about training your own personal co-writer. That's why it never stops learning about how you write and the kind of AI assistance that you appreciate.